So this is uh, the Monstars. All right, so this is obviously a dashboard of the team aggregate for, for this team. Um, have you guys ever played with the productivity quadrant here? Or is this kind of, kind of new to you guys? We have, I hadn't heard about it from your, your perspective yet. I wanted to just ask. Yeah, I have actually not looked into this at all yet. Cool. So this is a cool thing. And again, I just want to teach you guys this. I think it'd be valuable for you, especially as you get people in the goals and challenges. But for everybody else on the call, that activity score and objective score, they clearly laid out on the front end. You know, basically the activity score on the, on the x-axis there, that's your whatever it was, 75 dials and, and however many uh, 30 actions with LinkedIn, I think. The objective score is, you know, their pace towards the medians and SALs. This is going to show the correlation. And if you hover over those dots there, that's your team. So it's all your SDRs on this team. You can see, you know, who's the most effective, who's had the most output, who's had the most inputs, and it's going to keep moving throughout the month. So as they're staying reliable, those dials, as they're hitting those meetings scheduled, and of course, converting to sales accepted leads, you're going to end up in the green up there. So this just gives the managers the one view to see, okay, how is my team doing? Where can I spend some time? Maybe, maybe who do I need to put into a challenge or who do I need to build a goal for, for connections or dials? So it gives you a one page to look at your team's effectiveness as opposed to, again, dial it, you know, digging into Salesforce reports or you know, running through Excel. So this is a cool thing. I didn't think you guys knew about it because we hadn't seen it yet. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that was there. No, that is awesome. Hey, what is, the, uh, what is the switch between relative to absolute? What's that going to do for me? So if you hit it, it might not change anything or it might. So it looks like you've got a couple outliers there. That's probably managers on that team that don't have data. So it's trying to bucket people in the most logical um, you know, frame, uh, but your outliers there, uh, we take out, which might be you or somebody that doesn't have a high score. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's gotcha. going to give you a prettier picture on the absolute um, if you have a lot of major outliers. Gotcha. Awesome. Very so cool. And cover over that again, we, we, we apply, or sorry, the, any of those dots. Um, you can Dude, see you. the overall productivity ratio between the two things. Go ahead, Jordan. Or who was that? Mark? Yeah, that was me. Dude, do that for last month. I'm, I'm like curious to see what happened on last month. So this, uh, right now we can't do it here, but if you go down to reports, so the charts on the bottom left and go down to quadrant, you guys can do one-to-one -one for any metric. So you can do last month. How did meetings, you know, across the team convert to sales accepted leads? How did phone calls, you know, convert to meetings or how did cold emails versus manual emails, whatever you guys track, you can do one-to-one. -one on uh it, this is month only so you have to pick a whole month time frame but you can go back to october you can go back to august and do one to one and see how each of your team converts any two metrics interesting pretty cool definitely something to play around with there and see how uh you know how people match up on the dot obviously if you're in the top left then you take way less phone calls to book you know scheduled appointments for example um, if you're in the bottom right, it takes you on average way more phone calls to book the same amount of appointments. And then if you have good correlation between the two, you're in that top right. So this metric you're looking at here has really good correlation, meeting scheduled to sales accepted leads. And those are your best people. Lucky there, our man VJ, once again, to find the odds. So that's something cool. I'm glad, I'm glad uh, I could at least show you guys something new today.